little picture I drew. I was inspired by Manson to draw this picture. I know you're probably thinking that I tricked you with the picture about me, Manson, and Mr. Rogers and the and the and little picture description. The little thumbnail they call it, I think. No, I wasn't tricking you. I was inspired by Manson. And I drew that. I was inspired. Charlie inspired me. And I thought, yeah, that would be perfect. If Manson was one of the puppets on Mr. Rogers in the neighborhood, Manson would definitely be King Friday. Because Mr. Rogers made King Friday King Friday the 13th. He did that so that kids wouldn't actually be afraid of the day Friday the 13th. Mr. Rogers, he played lots of head games with kids. Not really head games. He was a nice dude. I loved the guy. He was like my hero. He was really my hero. And like I showed you yesterday, um, me and Manson, we both grew up on the Ohio River. Well, Mr. Rogers, he came, his show came out of Pittsburgh. And that was right there in the area. So growing up as a little kid, I watched Mr. Rogers all the time. All the time. Like I said, he was my hero. The dude was just a genuine, good-hearted dude. And growing up, I, a lot of the, a lot of people that were on TV or radio or whatever, I always was drawn to were really good-hearted people. I mean, good-hearted dude. And Mr. Rogers is a good-hearted dude. Even after he's dead, nobody's came out and said anything bad about him. They still love the dude. I mean, he probably sells more now than he did when I was a kid. He's just a great, fantastic guy. I know. You're thinking, what does Mr. Rogers... And you just wanted to do this so you could show us your picture. No, not really. It's not all that good. Uh, it's alright. It's alright for an amateur, I guess. Because I don't claim to be no artist. It was just, I was just inspired. And you notice he's not called Mr. Rogers, he's called Little Roger. It's Little Roger. And this is King Charlie the 13th, because he was in cell number 13 too, so that's pretty appropriate that he would be King Friday the 13th in the kingdom, which is probably a prison, you know, and Little Roger. If there was a Little Roger, you know, that would be cool. Somebody ought to make that, Little Roger. And make Charlie, make, make sure Charlie's... King Charlie the 13th. Anyway, Mr. Rogers. Um, Mr. Rogers, again, was one of my heroes. One of my heroes. I mean, I got several autographs from him. He even, he even wrote down the music for the opening sequence of the music where he comes in. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Oh, man. Just, it, just a thrill that guy was to me. Anyway... And again, you're asking, why in the world are you talking about Mr. Rogers and Charles Manson? Um, well, I could be talking about Big Bird and Charles Manson. I could be talking about Barney and Charles Manson. Because it, and, and, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't really know Charles Manson then. And you've tuned in to the perfect place. Um, Charlie, we got in conversations all the time. And if you just watched my latest video, which was probably yesterday, because really I don't know when I'm going to put this up. It's usually when it hits a thousand, I'll try to put another one up. I mean, I'll try. I'm not rushing to it. I'm not like a YouTube star or anything. So I'll try my best. But if you didn't watch the first video of As Manson's World Turns, <laughs> um... You can 
probably find it in a little banner up there if you're on a computer. I don't know what the hell it does on a cell phone. Maybe it does it on a cell phone up there too. It's like a little banner pops up. Is it popping up there yet? Um, and, and watch, you, if you want, you can even go to my YouTube channel, look at the videos, look at the last one, watch that. Because this one ties into that. Like I, like I said yesterday in the video, which I think it's going to be yesterday, I'm not sure. Um, like I said then, I, I'll keep you going. Because um, I got so many things that people don't know about Charles Manson. Um, and they assume, because like I said yesterday, you just fill in the blanks if you don't really know. And it's like, oh yeah, he probably did that. Maybe he did, who knows. If you can imagine it, he probably did it, knowing Manson. But anyway, back to um, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers was um, from Pittsburgh area. And me and Manson didn't grow up in the same era, so Mr. Rogers, probably in Manson's era, would have been somewhere like Howdy Doody or some shit, I don't know. I don't even know if that was even around then. But Mr. Rogers is my era, and probably no way in the world Charlie Manson would watch Mr. Rogers. Wrong. Mr. Rogers, Sesame Street, Barney. Manson was a frequent watcher of all those shows. And he can probably explain it to you better than me, because he explained it to me. You know, I was just as shocked as you are to know that Manson was a fan of Barney. But he calls everything a different name. That's why I changed this guy's name to Little Roger, because that's what Manson calls him. He calls him Little Roger. He calls Barney Bernie the Purple Dragon or some shit. And he go he he gets Sesame Street right, but that's been on the air since 1969. And guess what? That started when Manson was arrested. That's when Sesame Street started. And who knows how long he's been watching it. I've actually heard him say before that he's learned how to spell and shit from that. And he's learned how to... different things, you know? Like, it teaches you shit. If you've ever watched Sesame Street, it teaches you how to count. And it also, there's one thing on Sesame Street that I loved, that I loved. Um, it's like, one of these things is not like the other. Well, that video of me yesterday, bam, 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 bam. I'm the one that's not like the other. Well, anyway, let's get to the, what, Manson and Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers and the Purple Dragon and all that stuff. Let's let him tell you about it. Yeah. 
Okay. There you have it. And that comes from that comes from the same conversation from yesterday, wherever that banner was. It's gone now. Um, for the first show, so. Listen to that again if you want to hear it, because the whole conversation's in here, and I'll explain it to you in the next one. Again, always, thanks for watching. Spread love. Mr. Rogers did. Charlie did. Peace out.